another Minecraft video with me, Silver the Penguin, or Joseph in real life. And I'm on my own, as we can tell. And this is a new map, but this is for the purposes of I am going to do a review of the newest update, which is the 1.4.6, which was originally going to be used next year, but for reasons you're about to see, Jeb decided he wanted it now. Now, the first noticeable thing that I noticed instantly was if you select an item, it tells you at the bottom of the screen what you've selected. Pink dye, lime dye, all that kind of stuff. Now, apparently, there's some sort of Christmas bonus somewhere, but I have no idea where that is, not helped by the fact that my map is lagging out like hell, which I think something to do with the update. So I wouldn't be surprised if they bring out a bugs fixed thing. Okay, so next, this is the easily this is the reason why it's come out before the new year, purely probably because of this, because it's the tiniest update I've ever seen. We go on to this, and as we can see, ta-da! And this, my friends, is a firework. Pew! Pretty undramatic. Set a load off. Eh, it's pretty undramatic. But what we do is we get rid of this, and we get what's called a firework star, which, if, which if, is now in the creative inventory. We drop one there, we get a piece of paper and drop that there, and then we put some gunpowder here. Now you can put up to three of these in, and the flight duration will t change from one to two to three. And then if we notice, this one goes up a lot further. Ta da! If you set off a load at once, they all scatter out a bit. And still, I know what you're thinking. It's quite unimpressive. But then, it goes a step further than that. You get your fireworks star, and you put it like this, like so. We don't need 15 of them, we just need the one. And then let's use, ah, let's use a bit of lime dye. We drop that next to it. Sorry, I'm doing it wrong. Oh, I keep doing this wrong. I will work out how to do this if we... Hold on a moment. Ah, oh, okay. This, is, this has gone horrible. Give me a second. I was doing that wrong. I apologise. Um, we're supposed to use gunpowder. And look, ah, fireworks are small ball orange. Ta-da! Let's grab a couple of these. And then, that's not all we can do. We can get, say, uh, this lime there, and we can add it in. And it changes it. Small ball, orange and lime. And look at that. We get two. That's cute. Now what we do with this is we exit off this and we go to here and we build it in the same way that we built the first one we drop that there we drop some paper there and for effect we'll drop three gunpowders but this time we get a firework rocket with three duration small ball orange and lime and watch this Whee! ah see it even made a little noise Ah, see how cute is that? Right, let's set it back to night. Let's see it in full glory. Time set night. Ah, there we go. Flash time set night. There we go. Alright, should go dark in a few minutes. Meanwhile, we shall have a look at another feature while we wait for it to go a bit darker. Which is the brand new Enchanted Books. Now as we can see, there's a hell of a lot of these. A hell of a lot. If you look, each one has a different thing. Enchanted Books say Protection, Aqua Infinite, Affinity, Infinity, Affinity, Fire Aspect 2. Now this is fun. Let's get... Let's get Smite... Uh, let's get something fun. Fire Aspect two. Let's drop that there. Let's just get ourselves a nice diamond sword out and let's get a little well I won't whip out a witch because that'll just beat me up. Uh what do we want? We'll get a we'll just get a zombie. We'll just get a zombie. And we need an anvil. And what you do here is get your anvil out. And we drop this here. And we go on to our anvil, and we use this book, we put it here, and we put it with our sword, oh, sorry, by the way, 
Um, ta -da. The enchantment costs six for this, but that's because I'm using such a high enchantment. And we get the diamond sword. And voila! That enchants it. And now you enchant the books in the same way that you'd enchant anything else. Oh, ah, I'm on peaceful armor. Oh, that, that sucks. Options. Is it? There we go. So, oh, we did. To pow! See? Works fine. Now, what is amusing about this is. Let's go. Let's get ourselves another book. Get a, we'll get the fire aspect again. So fire aspect, but then let's uh, let's get a stick. Now well, unless this has changed, which it may have, they may have fixed this because this worked on the what do you call it on the look thingy, my bob. What we do is we get the stick in and we put it with the enchanted book. Sorry, the way around. And yeah, <laughs> we can get an enchanted stick. This works for any item at the moment. It hasn't been fixed. And yeah. I mean, you essentially, you can make a stick into the same as a diamond sword. I did that earlier. It was rather fun. Now, I'd say it's efficiently darkened. Come on, zombie. Go away. We don't want your kind. Alright. Let's say it's efficiently darkened. Now. Whee! Now if we let a load of these off. And I think you can probably tell why this one was has been brought out in time for New Year's Eve. Ah, look at them. See? And that's it for this update, really. I think that's all there is to do. Um, Because I haven't found the Christmas special thing yet. But if I do, I will add it on the end. I'll have a quick search around to see this island. This has been the worst seed I've ever had. It's just this tiny little island. And none of the rest of the world's really loading. Which kinda sucks. Kinda sucks. I'm gonna let off a load of fireworks. But yeah, you can do this with any colours. It doesn't matter if you just see if you used green and orange, lime and orange, whatever. But yeah, that's it for that. Oh, there's one more thing that I forgot to mention. There's the... Now, the new netherrack brick slabs, which has been requested for a long time now. And look at that. We have some nice netherrack brick slabs. You make them in the same way you'd make normal brick slabs. Brick slabs. You drop three of them in, which I haven't picked up, which was silly of me. And in the conventional way, you go bop, 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 and ta-da, six slabs. And there we are. That seems to be it. So, that's probably the shortest video we've ever done. See you later. Hello. Well, I said I'd be back if I realised that I'd missed something, and yes. <coughs> Funnily enough, I've actually missed quite a bit. Um, and there's a creeper. Um, well, there's one or two of the things I can't actually show you. But, some of them I actually can. So, most of them I've found have actually been relating to the bow and arrows. Oh. And that, if we watch, is quite interesting. If we look... The arrow render distance goes much further. You can literally hit targets from a long way away. While normally you'd like it would just disappear after a while. I mean that was a poor shot. Now it doesn't. Now it goes a hell of a lot further. A hell of a lot further. So yeah. The other one is the brilliant little ding noise you hear when you only when you hit another player. Unfortunately, I can't actually show this because I don't have another player with you, with me. But I promise, the next time I'm online with jo with Josh or Simon the Penguin, I will hit him with a bow and arrow if I can, as soon as I get hold of one, and I'll show you. But it makes a very satisfying little ding. 
And well, that's that. That's a pre that's pretty much the arrow stuff. But I mean, yeah, significant improvements on arrows ends. Uh, I'm enjoying this. Let's see. The other thing is, I did work out what the Christmas surprise was. And that involves us getting a nice chest here. And, but, oh, well, that was, that was upsetting. That should have worked. I, I don't know how this is working. But, okay, it's literally going to obviously work on Christmas and that is it. Because on the snapshot that worked. But, well, I'm not going to spoil that for anyone. If you want to know what it is, just ask in the comments and I will tell you. But I don't really want to be a swell spot. But most people, I, I, well, no, I'm not going to say most people, but some people probably won't get around to playing Minecraft at Christmas. And I'll miss it. So if you want to know what it is, just comment and I'll answer you. But yeah. Well, that was quite unsatisfying. I thought that might have worked, but never ye mind. Well, I'll see you later, guys. That was a pretty bad Minecraft review, but it's my first time, and yeah, there's an island there. I really kind of want to catch up with that. Oh, never mind. So yeah, but very little was actually updated this time, so see you later.